Use this three play motion scheme to drive your opponent nuts and hit him for a big ball deep. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, hey, YouTube, if you guys are looking for um, offensive tips, defensive tips, or you know, not constantly getting spammed by other YouTubers, and you're looking for some some depth to your playbook, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon. I try to actually post videos of, of offensive schemes that are new um, to most YouTubers. I don't actually try to use, I'm not going to repost stuff that's going to use in tournaments or by, by other YouTubers. I'm going to actually try to create original schemes that you can actually take your uh, take your, your your playbook to more depth uh, and have more th uh, more arrows to your quiver. Now we're going to take a look at a formation which I really like a lot out of the Seattle playbook. It's gun Y trio offset week. Gun Y trio offset week. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pin uh, in the comment sections where you can find these formation. But this is going to be based off of the Seattle play playbook. Um, we're going to take a look at a couple of different plays. Now, what I do love about this particular formation is that it's got really this formation out of Seattle's got phenomenal plays as far as the audibles are concerned. You've got one of the one of the vertical uh, audible typically that's usually vertical is a slot buck two, which is really really good play. Um, we also have got the standard stick inside zone. And a play action uh, of all plays is a play action flanker screen. So you've got a screen, but this this screen is probably one of the best screens in the game. Uh, that's gonna it's got a slant on the backside, so it gives you a man zone read, and you can you can basically hit that pretty consistently. Now uh, this is gonna be a, a four part series. I'm gonna show you uh, a motion scheme out of this particular play uh, this playbook, and then I'm gonna show you a couple other. I'll, I'll pr probably break down about four other plays in this playbook, so you can actually sprinkle this into your scheme. So we're gonna take a look at uh, basically setting up the play action motion motion shot. Now I've actually shown this uh, in previous playbooks uh, but this comes in a well balanced um, scheme because you have the motion outside zone and you've also got the motion Z spot. So uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the running plays and then go, try to set everything up for the play action motion shot because that's going to allow you to go ahead and hit your opponent deep uh, either in the middle of the field or uh, across the field against like cover four type coverages. So let's take a look at motion outside zone and go from there. Now we're just going to run this against random defenses. Uh, this looks like it's a it looks like it's a cover two shell because the safeties are actually back uh, about 11, uh, 13 yards depth. Uh, so we should get pretty good blocking uh, right here. So we got Eddie Lacy as our running back, probably not the most ideal fit. Uh, but it really all you're going to do is you're, it's, a, it's a zone. Uh, so you're going to try to look for a double team and just kind of take your uh, take your play uh, your your players from right there. So uh, let's just see. We're going to usually with any kind of a, a, an outside run, I'm always going to take a look at the tackle. As you can see, the tackle actually got really good push right there, and that's where we want to run behind. So let's see. Once again, this should be Pancake City right here because of the way this defense is set up. But look at that guy just came shooting him. Uh, but you want to go ahead and throw this into your scheme, probably in like a uh, in a. Um, uh, first down type of situation, so they have to really pay attention to the run. That's going to be some probably the first play you want to show with this motion scheme is just show the run right away, so they actually have to defend again against, against it. Now, next play we're going to take a look at is going to be the motion Z spot. I'm not going to make any kind of audibles or adjustments. I'm going to run it as is because I want to force my opponent to defend the spot route. I've got a flat route, I've got a corner route, and I got a deep dig route on the backside. Let's run this against um, the defenses and go from there. All right, so just basically for man uh, coverages, um, you've got the dig route and the corner route. There's going to be the, the, the routes that are actually going to be uh, the routes that you probably want to go ahead and, and attack your opponent with. So the coverage right there was actually fairly good. The dig route in the backside, which is really going to be effective against any kind of man blitzes, uh, because uh, what's going to happen is if he's if he's not getting pressed, uh, if he's, he's got a clean release, he's going to is, essentially settle down. So um, I would be looking against any kind of man coverages. Um, I'm going to be looking for either the corner corner route or, or basically uh, look for uh, the dig route. The dig route, I feel a little bit more confident on it, uh, but that corner route, obviously you can hit a big play. And also, obviously, if a defender doesn't get out, uh, you can hit that flat route. Just force your opponent to defend it. Now against cover two, uh, basically, if a defender doesn't fall in the flat, you want to go to that area. So that might be one of your first progressions, just watching the flat defender, uh, watching your, your your tight end, because those routes uh, take a while to develop. So if a defender floats uh, down to the flat, um, now you can actually go ahead and make, make your next progression. So. Um, 
looking at this particular route progression, I'd probably against cover two, I'm probably gonna go and stay away from that crossing route. I'm gonna be looking off to the right-hand side. And we're gonna look to the flat first if the defender actually floats down to the flat. Um, and uh, basically just pop that flat, force your opponents to go ahead and try to defend them. And if he is playing a hard flat, obviously you've got this deep corner out that you might be able to go ahead and make a move like that and take it house. So let's go ahead and take a look at cover three and our progressions from there. Now, uh, if you've got a single high safety, that's generally going to be a cover three look, but we're going to still make the same kind of progressions. We're going to look to the flat, see if the defender flo floats out there. If he doesn't, just going to go ahead and check it down. Make sure you attack that flat because this is going to set up um, the next play, which is going to allow you to really stretch the ball. So another, th another important thing, too, uh, with this defense is you want to go ahead and make sure you, you force your opponent to go ahead and defend the spot route. So that's a good play to jump into on first, uh, first down situations uh, if you want to jump into this, this scheme. Uh, because the spot route is going to be an area that you can attack. Now, on the back side, you've also got a corner. So let's just take a look at this in instant replay. I know I haven't jumped in instant replay yet, but uh, we're going to do it right here. So uh, basically, I've got I got the flat I can go and hit. Uh, and actually, as you can see, the defenders actually get pulled, get sucked in. So that flat route is actually the smart play. Um, but I was going to go ahead and looking uh, at this, this little spot route. But you can see two defenders are out there. So my next progression essentially is going to be the flat or the deep corner. And as you can see, this defensive back has actually got, he's got, he's got his back towards my, my corner. There's no way he's going to be able to make a play in the ball. He'll be out of completely out of position. As you can see right there, I'm able to go and pick up an easy possession catch right there. So if your opponent starts mabling up the cover, off to the right hand side where all this motion is at you've also got that deep in route that you can go ahead and hit you know it's going to be get you good 20 yard depth right there so you can always dump it jump it down so let's go run it run this against cover four because it's probably one of the more popular defenses that people play online so against random cover fours once again uh still still type the same look you want to go ahead and look to the flat uh, and that that's going to be a play that you want to go ahead and hit because if, if you start running a cover four with hard flats it's really going to open up um, the the next uh, play that you're going to use so you can see right here uh, just no one in the area right there you can actually pick up some pretty easy yards and also on the back side you've got that deep corner out so if he does run a hard flat you can go and attack that corner out against them now, uh, against uh, basically uh, zone, zone coverage, uh, you've also got this deep crossing route. Uh, so if he has to defend the spot with his solo middle linebacker, that's going to allow you to go ahead and hit your opponent with the big deep uh, pass on the backside. So this is, you know, the spot, is, Z spot is just basically one of the best plays in the game, uh, even if you run a sock. I know a lot of the pros, a lot of uh, experienced Madden players, uh, they run it where they make adjustments and stuff like that. But it just one of, you know, it's a just a play that you really can go ahead and use. It's, it's, it's such an effective play. It has been for years and still again once again in Madden 18 it's still one of the best play, uh, plays in the game all right so um, the final play we're going to take a look at is going to be play action motion shot uh, I've showed this play before we're going to run this against man coverages this is not an ideal place to run against man coverages especially if you if you got an opponent that's running a lot of blitzes and stuff like that uh, it takes a while for this play to develop this is more ideal if he's running a lot of zones which is very common online and not a lot of people run strictly man coverages um, you can beat your, your your opponent if he's using a lot of press uh, with this uh, route. The adjustment I like to do against man coverage is I like to go ahead and take the out, out and up is really not effective. You can't um, smart route it uh, where it's going to get a faster release to beat man coverages. So what I like to do is I just like to put a, a fade route right there. So that's one fast adjustment. You can definitely get that off and then quick hike your opponent. So you can't get any kind of elaborate defenses. And if you got a good burner, um, obviously you can just go ahead and hang it up right there and get some pretty big yards against man coverages. You're not going to see a lot of man coverages uh, with, with this. Hopefully you've got a good wide receiver where the locket position is. I think he's a, a number three wide receiver. And if you got a, a good quarterback that actually can go ahead and, and get the ball up there right, uh, you, can definitely, uh, you can definitely pop your opponent with that. You've also got the crossing route uh, with, with Baldwin. Um, the problem with the crossing route um, is that if you got a guy that's if you spam this play a lot, you can have you can throw into users. So you're really not going to have a lot of options with this particular play. So really, what I would recommend is that you you, you use this play. 
you probably want to go ahead and and uh, basically uh, you know take off your quarterback if you make your progressions and he's he's got that that crossing route locked up then that's basically you know you just got to take off your quarterback so having a player like uh, Russell's uh, 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 Russell uh, is definitely going to help you dramatically uh, with with uh, getting out. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, cover two. All right. So with cover two, once again, we're just going to make that quick adjustment. You can see, look at the depth of the the uh, the defensive backs. They're almost 15 yards off the ball. Uh, so you know that's a cover two because of the depth uh, of where the uh, the safeties are at. So. Um, Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and attack the middle of the field uh, with that crossing route. And if you've got a good number two wide receiver, he should probably get the depth. The problem with this particular play is that the mid read should play it, but hopefully you've got uh, basically a player that actually can make a play over the top like that. So as you can see, Lockett actually misses that. Now the crossing route might get picked up by underneath zones. And generally, I guess it doesn't right there. So that's going to be another area that you want to go and look at. So if you get a cover two look, you've got an opponent that runs a lot of cover two. Uh, you can probably pop Richardson, but a lot of the good players, they're basically going to go ahead and, and um, try to go ahead and put a, a blue zone when they run cover two to be a big, big way, take away that big play opportunity. So advanced players will play a blue, blue zone with cover two. Uh, so that, that route uh, should be taken away, but this back route should be wide open. And that's going to be an area that's going to get cleared out by all these routes. So you can see uh, uh, Russell uh, Wilson basically went ahead and, and uh, sailed the ball on me. But let's see if we can get this once again. He, he, the guy gets chucked, and no defender falls in the area right there. And I just do the little possession catch, and I'm picking up a good 30 yards. All right, so against cover three, once again, we're going to go ahead and take Lockett. Uh, this is a cover three shell because you can see the defender is you got a single high safety. So it's either going to be cover three man or zone. I've got no press. Um, and really what we're going to be looking for is that crossing route right there. That's going to be the area that we're going to try to go and attack uh, with cover three. Uh, you might be able to go ahead and get um, uh, basically the, the, the crossing route right here by the one defender. So you can see, yeah, he actually gets wide open but I actually this is a bad play uh, pass by Wilson uh, so let's see if Russell can pop this one right here so getting chucked off the line and we've got a, a nice little opportunity right there where Richardson actually misses that uh, but this is not the ideal situation we've got an opponent that, that runs a lot of cover three uh, this is really not the best play to go and use uh, because defenders generally will fall into the area right there uh, this is more ideal for cover four and i'll show you how cover four really just you destroy cover four so if you've got an opponent that runs a lot of cover four uh, you're going to basically set them up for a huge play uh, because this 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 play just destroys cover four So against cover four, once again, um, it's really all about the Baldwin route. That's going to be the route that's going to basically not get covered. Um, and you can see the defender actually pulls out of the area and it leaves that area wide open. So the problem with this particular play is that you have to throw it into a scheme um, to be successful with it. Uh, you, you can't. You can run this play maybe twice against your opponent, and they're going to pick up on the tendencies. But what's great about the Seattle playbook is that it has the motion run uh, that you can go and attack with your opponent, and it also has the spot, which is going to force them to defend the flats. And what's going to happen is this this back route it just gets naked against cover four, especially if he's using hard flats. Even if he's not using hard flats, uh, the, the defenders are not going to float up very high. So you can you can jump into this play maybe in a, in a fourth down or a third down situation if he's running a lot of cover four against you uh, and basically get some pretty good, uh, you know, get some really good yardage. You got seven guys blocking. So for the most part, unless your offensive line really sucks like Seattle, uh, you should get separation. So look at this right here. I, I'm able to go ahead and pick up a good, you know, 35 yards right there on that one play, pass play. It's just it's such a huge opportunity. You just rack that puppy and just take it home. All right, so once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the like button. This is going to be part 
uh, part one of a four-part series showing you the gun wide trio offset week out of the Seattle Seahawk playbook. Um, it, once again, uh, to to all my subscribers, thank you for support. And if you guys want to get all my tips early, go to my Patreon account for a dollar. You get access to this stuff before I release it to YouTube um, weeks later. So once again, thank you for support, and until next time.